it took the turtles. So we're good. I love them all. This is Pat. This is Kendrick. That one's Tafiti. That one's Stuart. That's Rob. That's China. There's Tater Tot. There's Crush and Squirt. Hey, buddy. This has to be one of the uh, weirder things I've done in my life. I don't even know how to start this one. I guess I guess I'll just like cut right to it. This is the story of how I went to go get my hair cut and came home with 80 turtles. I actually cannot get over this napping turtle right here, guys. Look at him. He's just taking a little nap. He's just doing his best. God, I, I love that one right there. I love that one there with his little feet sticking straight out. How you doing, buddy? You just hanging in there? You get it? Because you're like hanging on. You know when you were in school, or if you're still in school, and then there's those math problems that are like, Sally bought 50 tomatoes with her friend who also bought 35 dogs, and what could the possible equation be of the watermelon? And then you read those problems and you're like, who would buy 50 tomatoes or whatever, you know? Well, I've become a living math problem because I went to go get my hair cut and I came home with 80 turtles. Yeah, that's 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 right. It's quite a few. It's a lot, okay? A lot of turtles. Let's uh Let's get to the story, shall we? So I went to go get my hair cut the other day, which you can never tell when I do because I, I have extensions in my hair. I was actually out running errands with my mom, so she dropped me off at the hairstylist. She went out and she continued to do her thing. And then when I was done, she came and she picked me up. Well, my mom made a big mistake, or maybe, maybe not because now I have 80 turtles. My mom decided to mention that she saw a guy on the side of the road selling turtles, and I, that set me off. If you don't know, selling turtles on the side of the road 99% of the time is illegal. I don't know where you live if this is a normal thing, but in Texas, sadly, I see it all the time. There's guys and girls on the side of the road selling what normally are baby red-eared sliders that were taken from the wild. There is a loophole around this being illegal. Basically, if they're over four inches, you can sell them legally on the side of the street. Most of the time, they're not that big. Now, these people sell them for some insanely cheap price, like $5 for a turtle, and they give you a little container for the turtle to go in, and they just send you on your way with the turtle, and they tell you nothing about the care that goes into this turtle, nothing about the fact that they'll get 12 inches in diameter, nothing about the fact that they need land and water and a filter and a heater and a basking spot. They don't tell you anything. They just ship you off with your tiny, cute little baby turtle for your little kid and tell you to have a good day, and that turtle lives a miserable life until it'll ultimately died. <coughs> Sorry, if I sound weird, I have bronchitis. Anyway, basically, if you see a guy on the side of the road selling turtles, don't tell your friends about it. Don't take pictures with the turtles. Don't buy a turtle, which I know this is going to sound very contradicting to the fact that there are 80 of them in my kitchen, but just hear me out here, okay? So my mom told me that there was a guy selling turtles on the side of the street, and I just had to go look at him. I had to go talk to the guy. I had to tell him what he was doing was wrong. Because no matter what, even if it was completely legal, selling turtles for $5 on the side of the street and not informing people anything about the care that goes into them is wrong. I don't care if he has a permit. I don't care if it's legal. It's wrong. I went over there, and I walked up to him, and it's really hard to hear on my footage, but this is what happened. Selling them in little tubs. Hey guys. Hola. So where did these guys come from? Uh, in what? In Pesco. Well, where did like where did you get them? Y'all have like a permit to do this? Yes. Why? Because they're really small, and if they're under four inches, they can only be sold for educational purposes. You know that this kind of stuff is sustainable for them, right? Like they no, get well, like that's, huge. That's, uh, that's to take them to your house. But do you let the people know who are buying them that they get? Massive. They get massive. They get the size of a dinner plate. They do. And they need one side that has 90 degrees. Are you here to buy it? I'm here to look because they're out for sale on the side of the road for five dollars. Because it's when they we've get... been getting harassed by people in the last cop that came told me if we get harassed by people we'll get just to call them. Well we're... you can call them. It everything legal. It's fine that it's legal, but it's still unfair for them and where they're going. I just get harassed because we're here outside. Not that it's outside, it's that you're not People don't know what they're going into. Like what what kind of home are these guys going to? Are they getting a good home? Well, we don't know what kind of home they're Exactly. Going to. But why do you want your business to be about animals not getting good homes? And they're not just selling them in little containers. At, at the pet store, they tell them, oh, you have yeah, to get these big temporary. containers. Anybody would know this is temporary. I've had many people come in not knowing it's temporary. Like They're healthy if you grab them. I know. I mean, yeah, but people just see them and go, oh, $5, I can grab my kid a turtle love it and it's gonna go home and it's gonna die. But well, that would be the public misunderstanding, right? 
I know, I mean, that's just why, why even put it out there for people to do that is what I'm saying. Basically, I went up to him, I asked for, you know, his permit, I asked what he was doing was legal. He ensured me that what he was doing was very legal and that he got all of these turtles from a pet shop in El Paso. I said, what's the name of the pet shop? He just said, it's somewhere in El Paso. I was like, well, if you got 100 turtles from there, you should probably know the name of them since it's probably what you do for a living. Doesn't know the name of the pet store. So this tells me one thing, no matter where he went and got them from, if it was a friend or something, they were caught from the wild. If, you know, if he's selling them for five bucks on the side of the road, he did not go to a store and pay full price for them to sell them for five bucks on the side of the road. And he can't even tell me where they're from. Let me interject real quick here also and throw this in real quick before I continue. I am in no way trying to demonize this person. I talked to this guy and apparently he's fresh out of jail and has a family to support and can't get a job anywhere. Okay, sure, he needs to make a living because he has a wife and a kid. I completely understand. But why not go sell ice cream or something? Why do you need to sell a living being on the side of the road? That Go go make ice cream or something, okay? I understand, times are tough. Sure, he's not like, I hate animals. I want to make them suffer. I'm positive that is not where his state of mind was, but it's still wrong. Just wanted to throw that in there that I'm not trying to make this guy out to be like the devil or something. I'm just trying to say, this is not good. He told me that they were from El Paso somewhere, but he couldn't really tell me where for some reason. And it's completely illegal and that it's not his fault if people go home and don't take care of the turtles. That's the person's fault for impulse buying a turtle. Well, who else do you think is going to buy turtles off the side of the road? Do you really think it's someone who has just been dying for a pet turtle but cannot humanly find a turtle available anywhere? except the side of the road. No, there are people who are just driving home and go, ooh, turtle, let's get that for my kid for five bucks. Every person you're selling them to is an impulse buy, okay? When I used to work at a place we'll call Pet Schmo, I used to have people come in all the time with their kids. <coughs> I used to have people come in all the time with their kids holding a little turtle in a little jar going, excuse me, what should I feed this? I just bought it off the side of the road. And when I broke the news to them that they're gonna need a 40 gallon tank, that they're gonna need a basking spot, that they need filtered water, a UVB lamp, they just go crazy. They're like, well, the people that sold me this didn't tell me that, I'm not gonna pay all that. Please. Do your research before you buy a pet. This guy was just trying to give me every excuse in the book. Showed me his permit. His permit clearly stated that if they were over four inches, he could sell them. If they were under four inches, he could only sell them for educational purposes. These turtles were an inch and a half. He was not selling them to a school. He was not selling them to an education program. He was selling them to random people on the side of the street. So then we left and I went and we drove around for a while and it kept getting hotter outside. It got to about 105 degrees and I started to like panic about the turtles, thinking about them boiling outside in little containers, all stuffed together. I know it's gonna pay this guy for the day. I know he's gonna go home and have a good meal profiting off his little turtle, illegal turtle thing, but I need these turtles to be okay. So then I went to the bank and withdrawed $500. We're gonna save some turtles. We're gonna save some turtles. Turtle saving day. Woo. Yeah. I have a weird question. So do y'all guys only take cash? Or do y'all do card too? Only, cash. only cash? So if I go get cash, how many of these guys would you give to me? If I brought enough money for all of them, would you give me all of them? Yeah. And dude, just get the full amount. Take well, it off. If you think there's a hundred of them. I don't, just get 500 then. So I have the bucket and my money and I'm gonna go sit with them until the dad gets back and then we're gonna try to get all the turtles. They look pretty healthy, which is good, but there's just so many of them. Now, it took the turtles, so we're good. So now these guys are gonna go find a new home. Yeah, permits for educational purposes only. I guess you know that loophole. Yeah, but you could you could get in trouble for that. Not, not with that permit, because the game wardens, I don't know why, but they don't they don't enforce that. So I'm actually falling in love. They are so cute. Oh, they're so hot, babies. Oh my, oh my God. Plan is, we're gonna move my beta fish from the beta sorority tank into a 10 gallon tank temporarily. Then all, all of the turtles are going to go into the 46 gallon bow front tank in my kitchen. And we're gonna keep them there until we can find them new home. What did you do with your day? Well. I got a haircut and then I just casually picked up, you know, like 80 turtles or something like that. Then I came home 
This has to be one of the uh, weirder things I've done in my life. Oh, my babies. Oh, you're so cute. Generally, please don't buy any of them to save them. Just call the game warden guy. Just call the FDA. Call whoever locally takes care of those kinds of problems. The only reason I bought them is because this video is worth way more than $500. I could spread so much awareness with these turtles. We're actually taking these turtles to a turtle sanctuary and we're doing a whole nother video about re-releasing these turtles and giving them a new home and a giant pond at a turtle sanctuary. Because I have these resources, this is why I bought them. Not because you should always go out and buy them every time you see them, okay? And um, that's how I ended up with 80 turtles. This is like the weirdest story, I have to say. This is like, this hits a new, new, high i wouldn't say new low this is i mean you wouldn't call owning 80 turtles a low it's a high thing another great thing is the game warden guy did call us back did let us know that what he's doing is illegal did get his name did get his information and is going to pursue something against him so this was not all for nothing but if you're having a conversation with people that want pets if you're having a conversation just about animals in general bring up the fact that the turtles on the side of the road are illegal bring up the fact that they are taken from the wild bring up all of that i know that seems like a really random thing to bring up to your friend to your aunt to your grandma but the cool thing about that is then they'll probably tell other people if they ever hear about turtles being sold on the side of the road they'll be like oh my daughter, my granddaughter, my friend, my nephew, my niece, they told me, they told me that this was illegal. They told me that this isn't right, blah, blah, blah. Maybe those train of conversations will stop people from impulse buying them on the side of the road. No animal is cheap. No animal is $5. No animal is stress-free, cost-free, worry-free. Every animal you bring into your home is your responsibility until they die, which you should aim for them to live the longest they can. So please don't buy turtles on the side of the road. Thank you for listening to my story about how I went to go get my hair cut and came home with 80 turtles. So until we get the turtles to the sanctuary, my betas are living in here. We have all my four betas that I actually started a beta sorority tank and that video is coming soon. Um, I started a beta sorority tank again and uh, I made a whole video about it, but then my turtle thing happened and we had to take the betas out of the sorority tank, which was this tank right here, and fill it with 80 turtles. I'm gonna feed them so you guys can watch how cute they are when they eat. Cute, look at that little guy's foot. He's just trying to do a swim. He's so cute, he's like having little turtle dreams. His little foot was moving. Um, yeah. Thanks.